Hey guys, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. Today we're going to learn how can we integrate the Adobe XD with the Zeppelin. Alright, so maybe if you don't know Zeppelin yet, that I can explain to you. Basically, Zeppelin like the bridge, a bridge that help designer and developer to inspect the design through the source code like this. And then basically this is for the uh, developer and designer so there's a lot of benefit as designer or developer that you can see the design style and source code for the ios or swift objective c and even there's a lot of things and for designer it's good if you can make the design style for your application and even that you can generate the uh, assets which is uh, multiply to multiply C for the Android, iOS, and website design. Cool. Now we're going to show you how can Zeppelin works with the Adobe XD. So basically, I download this project from the repository. I don't know. I have no idea where where did I get this file. Basically, I just download from others. So well, as you can see here. Oh get my rewards okay just like that cool now i'm going to show you how can we integrate this design this prototype to the zeppelin that developer able to inspect the design for the uh, source code now first of all you have to download the zeppelin and after that you have to install the zeppelin and then you're able to select those artboards which uh, maybe you want to inspect all of those artboards then you just need to select all those artboards and going to the file and export and there's a zeppelin but if you don't see any zeppelin menu that because you haven't installed the zeppelin yet so you have to install first no project available so we have to create the project first in the zeppelin create first project for the iOS and create and here rewards okay and let's go back to the Adobe XD to do export to the Zeppelin you find the reward because we just create the reward last updated six seconds ago pretty nice now you have to find the this uh, sorry you, you you have to decide the density of your screen so most general we are using the 2x inspecting our images exporting and there's the progress from the adobe xd nice clear well done this is screen number one you can double click okay so basically the zeppelin will uh, will tell you that this is the design made up by adobe xd so you can click this and it's open the adobe xd file nice and then in this button there's the hyperlink so if you click this red button then you will see a link to icon when we click this it's changed to the other screen and when we click this and it's changed to the other screen it's link going back to the first screen nice so this is design from the adobe xd now you just need to select the font type and then you can add to the design style as a designer and the color so after that we're going back to the dashboard and there's the style diet so the color that design use is aqua aqua blue with the hex code is 00d1dz with the 1% opacity and this is for the red green blue okay and the font book this is the font style that we use in this project is the proxima nova with the semi bold 50 0 0.5 points cool yeah so if you are working with the zeppelin i hope it's gonna be easy for the designer and also for the developer they can inspect this design the margin font type font size color even you can generate this design to the CSS 
but in this case I'm using the iOS so I couldn't give you the CSS source code here unless we have to change the project setting first to do uh, to be CSS so here you can see there's a button and then let me find okay so we can try with this button and then it's it should be generate the source code right and then so basically Zeppelin help us to get the source code right so how can we get that is uh, we just need to go to the dashboard and install gadget and in the right bar there's a swift okay or you can change the version to the 9 or swift version to the latest one which is 11 and then you can download this we can import this swift code to the uh, xcode so we are trying to go to desktop so let's see what we got mm, what where is it okay let me try again we have to export this swift or you can download by click here export and this is for the textile export and then you can see this is for the swift source code that we can use it in the xcode for the ios for the developer well i think that's enough for now and i hope it was useful for you and sorry for the mistake well thank you very much for watching and nice to meet you from indonesia goodbye